All right, we are staying on top of updates on a disturbing story that we first broke last week. Lauren Handy appeared in court today just a few days after police found the remains of five fetuses in her Capitol Hill neighborhood apartment. A lot of you still talking about this story. Police investigating how those remains got there. WSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca has been tracking down answers from the company accused of transporting those remains. Nathan, what have you been able to find out? Well, Adam, first off, Lauren Handy pled not guilty against federal charges she faces for allegedly invading a medical clinic in 2020. But now there's a dispute over the boxes activists claim were used to transport fetal remains. Lauren Handy, seen here in exclusive video, shot Wednesday just after D.C. police took what it said were five fetuses from her Capitol Hill neighborhood home, pled not guilty to federal charges Monday. While she faces 10 years in federal prison, if found guilty of, in the Department of Justice's words, invading the Washington Surgical Care Center in 2020, those charges have nothing to do with the bizarre investigation in her own D.C. home. We were there when D.C. police took biohazard bags and coolers it say carried remains of five human fetuses. Screenshots of video later released by Handy's group, Progressive Anti-Abortion Uprising, too graphic to fully show, focus on a box with the shipping label from the D.C. clinic to a medical waste company. We talked to the corporate owners of Curtis Bay Medical Waste here in Baltimore. They say their company policy forbids the intake or transportation of any fetal remains. But a spokesperson for the anti-abortion group commented the video speaks for itself, claiming the group would provide further evidence of the medical waste company involvement. D.C. police says the fetuses were aborted in accordance with D.C. law. The D.C. medical examiner declined to further investigate claims by the anti-abortion group the fetuses were born alive and later killed, which would be a violation of the 2002 federal Born Alive Infants Protection Act. Progressive anti-abortion uprising provided no evidence to back up its claims yet, but scheduled to answer questions at a news conference tomorrow. We'll continue to follow this ongoing investigation.